subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Hi guys, so it is a kind of deload week today. This week, pressing. I've got a nice wee light session today, so there's look. And uh, we're just gonna keep the body moving and um, we're gonna have a good session, aren't we? Good chat. What came today? Should we talk about oh, yeah. what arrived today? What arrived today was Ooh. the biggest weight for height, or probably not the biggest, the heaviest weight for height in the world. Fuck. 575 kg each base and then a big massive pole, but yeah, it's gonna be cool in there. So you'll see that, we'll be using that end of the week. Special shout out to Ceramax again. Ceramax, baby. And we're gonna go, so it's upper body day today. Smash it, get the pump on. Inspire change. My problem. Oh. up guys so just getting the knees warmed up it was Dan and Ross that kind of told me to do this for my patellas um, and I do this kind of religiously now every training session um, and it helps really really massively a couple of minutes I don't know what it does I don't know the science behind it I don't know the body parts it was working but I've been told to do it I'm doing it and it helps a lot normally by this time so we'll see doing my walk at the weekend. Um, my knees would be quite sore, kind of Monday, Tuesday still, but these doing these makes it feel really good, so very happy. So thank you Ross and Dan for the amazing tip. Have you got a different program to loop today? Um, we've both got the same, but he's just doing a bit heavy. Uh, well, a 140 for a deload's pretty heavy, but now we're, I've got 120, he's got 140, and the rest of the exercises are kind of the same, but we're both going light. Are you glad it's a deload this week? Yes, well? I'm glad it's a deload. It's good get a chill out for a wee week and get our body resetting and kind of, when you feel strong in the gym as well, it itches you to go, you want to go heavier and I feel like I want to go heavier already, so. <laughs> we got some new toys to play with as well. Press Dan, Tom was five sets of three at 120. Easy enough. You know it looked quite snappy. Um, I did five sets of three at 140. Nice and easy. Um, so that was our kind of main compound, I suppose, push press. Now we're going to go on to incline press. Nothing too heavy. Three sets of three at 120. 120. I think I've got 130s. So much and such the same. So we'll get on with that. Get a little pump and get aggressive. Three. Yep. Okay. Oh. 
So we're gonna have a little chat about prep. So my prep's a lot different this year than it was to last year. Last year was very much taken up by the world record attempts and the lob press. This year we, or for me personally, I've really invested a lot of my time into this prep. So much different, feeling a lot, a lot better. I've got a good feeling this year. Um, last year I wasn't feeling it at all. Through my own fault, I didn't, I didn't prepare well at all for, for worlds, but this year, I don't know, it's, it's been a lot different, a lot more positivity, a lot more good energy going around. Taking on a, there's a sports psychologist helping us, Ross the physio, Neil, um, alternative health practitioner. It's been amazing seeing them. One of the biggest kind of um, additions, I think, is Dan. Um, taking him on, or having him as a coach now. Um, really invested in, in both Tom and myself, but the way he structures the, the training, um, it's something that I really buy into and, and what Dan says I kind of trust. And I was guilty initially, you know, you judge a book by its cover and Dan, I don't mean this in any uh, disrespect, but um, you're not by any means <laughs> the most um, usual looking coach in the world. But I think that brings in such a, an added bonus because your, your quirkiness, your um, the unusualness to yourself comes into the training and it gives us so, so much more than just the basic, just do your three by three, just do this, do that, whatever. You know, the, the additional things that Dan says is massive. Even just chatting, you know, sharing that, that thoughts, that kind of, like today Dan messaged me, how are you, how are you feeling mentally and physically? The fact that, you know, you say mentally first, you know, he knows that mentally, that's what it kind of is at a lot of the time, especially for me. So if I'm mentally okay, or, if my head's in a good place, then everything else follows, follows suit. My training's amazing. My life in general is just perfect. So that's the, the kind of improvements I think that Dan's brought in is just to see things in a different light and not just see it in so one dimensional. You know, there's so many different aspects, so many different dimensions to training. And that's what Dan's really helped me see. And I'm eternally grateful for you um, for doing that, Dan. But strength is going up. Just hit my, one of the biggest log press sessions volume wise in the weekend. Smashing the yoke, 400 kilos felt like nothing, 300 plus frame carries feeling nothing. Everything's going in the right place and I'm, I'm very positive. You know, every day I'm waking up, that's all I'm kind of looking to do is better myself every day for training and it's feeling so much better this year. Um, I think both Tom and myself are going to come in fully prepared. You know, we've just got the fingers finger, we're getting the weight for the weight for height frame. We're investing in ourselves to become the well-rounded or the all-rounded athlete. And then the diet side, Nathan's very smart in what he does, you know, so obviously we've talked about having a mini deload this week, so our calories have kind of come back to kind of mimic our training. Next week, when we go back up heavy again, the calories increase, our training increases, and our energy is going to be there. So I'm feeling buzzing every session. I'm coming in, smashing it, and I am feeling good to go. And I can't wait for World's Strongest Man to come. Prep's been going um, better than I thought. Obviously, everyone kind of took off me with Bahrain, how like I got so big and kind of, obviously everyone wants to win, but it's more of a first comp since November. I was wanting to go over there and see if I was comp fit, see what I needed to change. There was loads of things I needed to change. Like, my mental state was all over the place. I didn't, didn't want to be there, as a lot of people could see. The thing is, if you, if you look back at performances like that and dwell on it and let it kind of haunt you, then, uh, you know, that's, the worst thing you can do, so I've done it before and you know, I took that away, told Dan that I wasn't happy, told Nathan I wasn't happy and uh, I lost like six, seven kilos, did like eight weeks of fitness, so a lot of rep stuff, me, myself and Luke, a lot of rep stuff. Yeah, that eight weeks was hell because we were on, like Luke said, low calories, well not low calories, but maintenance for us, so we weren't allowed the extra boost of meals, we were just on a strict diet, so you know, that first eight weeks of training for Worlds was really hell, but then uh, <laughs> we've been on burger and chips now for the last a new phase has just started, so we're onto the strength stuff, and that's uh, really taken off. You know, I thought maybe I might have lost a lot of strength. I must, might have lost a lot of uh, kind of with the event work, maybe a lot of strength as well. But um, everything's going good. My love's going insane. Yoke, everything's going good. The worst thing for me right now is the stones, but uh, that's just because of what, how they are. But um, yeah, I'm confident. Uh, like Luke said, I've had done. I've had done for more than Luke. You know, a lot of people 
criticise Dan, I maybe don't know who Dan is, but Dan's sitting right now the second best coach in the world, um, which is a massive achievement for someone that's, you know, just uh, so kind of knowledgeable and learnt from himself. You don't need the big name coaches to be a good athlete. And uh, like Luke's proven that with how consistent he has been with the log and training. He's looking in the best shape of his life. He's probably going to double 230 soon as well on the log. And then myself, I'm just kind of concentrating on myself, getting my mind sorted, which we've been doing that. Also getting my fingers sorted. So I mean, it's still a long way to go. Six weeks is still a long way. As long as I um, feel good every day and improve every day, then Rhodes is going to be very good. But Right now, I think I'm, I'm further ahead in prep this year than I was last year, so take the mistakes out, make this hand very good, and uh, we'll be come rocking into the finals. What are we doing now, Tommy? We are doing seated dumbbell press incline. Guys, that's our main kind of stuff done. We're going to be on going on to accessory work. So we've got face pulls, uh, front raises, tricep push downs, and the bicep curls, as we like to call them here in the Highlands. Training session done, nice and easy, nice and uh, pumped, just, it's kind of like a wee deload day, just getting the uh, body ready for the upcoming days and next week, so nice and easy, very spicy, looks doing a wee dance to snap for you guys. Thank you to everyone as well for buying the new t-shirt, the new smile, stay safe, stay spicy. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy, sorry if you got that wrong guys. Is that what it is? Yeah. No it's not. Stay safe, smile, stay spicy. It's the other way around. I know this. We prank them. But thank you for buying the t shirt, it means a lot to us. Thank you for the support. Keep watching the videos. What video are we doing next? We're doing squats. Um, squats on Thursday with some special guests. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching the video. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. Oh, please keep bringing that little bit.